Hey Internet, I'm currently in Santa Barbara. The last time we chatted I was still in San Francisco and that was about two days ago so I will catch you up on what we did. So we only really had one full day in San Francisco last time we chatted and that day we managed to get a car for rental. So that was pretty cool because we got to see all the stuff that we couldn't see via cable car or I was too lazy to walk to. So we visited the local Costco which was a little disappointing because I was expecting big things in America. Turns out Costco in America kind of similar to the Costco in Australia um, except that it's mainly American brands but that's okay at least I don't feel like I'm getting jibbed in Australia now. Then after that we went to Muji which is my favorite storage store ever. It's a Japanese storage store and I really just wanted to buy all the containers and little acrylic drawers they had because it was so much cheaper than ordering stuff into Australia but it's gonna be a bit of a pain to try and ship it back or shove it in my luggage somehow so I just got one little drawer which I will hopefully put together nicely and maybe feature in a video sometime in the future but yeah I love Muji it is so amazing I really hope they come to Australia eventually then after that we went to Twin Peaks to take a bunch of photos, super windy, but the view was pretty amazing, I mean, gotta give it that. And then we drove all the way to take pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge because apparently we hadn't taken enough pictures. As you can tell, that wasn't really something I wanted to do, but I'm compromising. Then after the Golden Gate Bridge we drove down Lombard Street, which was pretty slow because there were just so many people who had pretty much the same idea. Um, but, you know, it was an experience. It was kind of like being on a amusement park ride, I guess. I wasn't really the one driving. I was just busy taking all the footage, but it was still an experience. And then after that, it was pretty much the end of the day for us. Next day is today, where we drove down from San Francisco down to Santa Barbara. And let me tell you, that is one heck of a drive, especially if you are someone who gets motion sickness like me. The first town we visited was Monterey. I don't really know the cultural significance, but I do know that the place we had breakfast, I was actually trying to go there for lunch, but we were half an hour too early, so I just settled for breakfast. They had like these ginormous... They had, they had these ginormous pancakes. I almost didn't know what to call it. Huge. And I'm so glad we ordered one because we were about to order two until the lady said, oh, you know, I'm going to consider that. So we ordered one. And yeah, they were pretty massive. And after Monterey, we basically headed down, I think it's called Highway 1. Basically, it's the road that follows the coast because given that we've never done the drive before, we thought we're going to go the scenic route. Big mistake, especially if you're motion sickness because even though the views and the stops were really nice and very scenic and picturesque, I was pretty much feeling like crap most of the time and I thankfully, touch wood, there's no wood around me but just imagine I did, did not throw up because I felt pretty crook. Eventually we arrived at Morro Bay which was pretty much our next stop. We had a quick bite and then headed out to see what made Morro Bay so famous which was this massive rock in the ocean. Yeah, it's pretty much just a rock, but you know, pretty impressive, it's not too bad. And there are sea lions everywhere on the bay in California, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm a little, I was a little scared because I didn't know if sea lions attack you or not, um, but apparently they don't. Apparently they just like to sleep and relax, which is good. And they have little cat faces, which is always a plus for me. Then after Morro Bay, we headed down to Santa Barbara. We made sure to grab dinner at IHOP, which is cool. That's another place checked off from my list of American restaurants or eateries to try out. Found the Cheshire Cat Inn and checked in, and that's where I am now. And the only reason I'm mentioning this hotel is just because it's very Alice in Wonderland themed which is highly appropriate given I'm currently watching Once Upon a Wonderland on TV which is just a spin-off from Once Upon a Time and basically this hotel is themed in Alice in Wonderland so all the rooms are based off Alice in Wonderland characters and 
it is very quaint. So if you're a big fan of Alice in Wonderland and you're in the Santa Barbara area, maybe you want to give this a try. It's no man. That's about it. That's all I have to say. Tomorrow we are headed down to Los Angeles, which should be fun because we'll be there for a while. And I will take you guys along with me. So until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.